I guess the real concern is Bam and the hand and the yeah. fact that he was not available for the Yeah. Um, you know, I, I don't know how he'll feel, um, you know, tomorrow. It was a really hard hand contusion in the, in the first half. Uh, and he tried to gut it out uh, in the second half, but you could see he was just basically playing with one hand. And, and um, you know, it was just e- extremely sore. Uh, you know, so I'd make that tough call um, and take the decision out of his hands uh, in the fourth quarter. Um, and we'll just evaluate him uh, tomorrow. He already got e- x-rays, and, and those were clean, so thank God uh, about that. But he's going to be sore. Um, I'll just figure out for how long um, he'll be sore. Was that exactly what you wanted to get in that final possession? Uh, some version of that, getting either Jimmy to an open spot uh, up to the top, but he also had that whole wing um, to be able to read it. Um, I thought he just did an amazing job uh, of somehow getting into the paint uh, and getting to the rim. Um, I feel like night after night you're, you're seeing, you know, uh, in this league, you know, somebody – just go absolutely nuts about uh, a call uh, at the end of the game and and cry that that was uh, what dictated the game. Um, so I want to be measured with my words, but uh, I, I thought Jimmy just made the absolute right play. I, I think easily in this ga- this game alone, he could have had six to eight more free throw attempts. Um, you know, I think the one where uh, KD actually got hurt, I think he just got raked across his arm on that one. One in the first half, he got hit in the head. Uh, should have been an and one. But that one, I just think, uh, I don't think it was vertical. I don't think he was set. I think it was not the classic A to B, and I don't think he was in position. Now, I'm sure they'll say otherwise, and at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Um, but I think... Uh, I think um, that earned the right to go to the free throw line and, and see if uh, you know we could have could have won the game. Uh, I don't think we could have gotten anything better than than that opportunity. Obviously, right at the rim uh, with Jimmy, um, and I haven't seen the replay on that. Um, it just did not look like it was a, a vertical play uh, where he was waiting for him. I think he rotated O'Neal, and I I don't know. I, it felt like Kyrie got something in there. Um, but, uh, you know, that's just uh, really unfortunate. We, uh, our, our guys really played well. Uh, you know, I, I really felt that uh, we deserved to win the game just from the, the, the energy and the tenor, particularly uh, in the second half. Um, you know, and they're a good team. You know, they can flatten you out uh, defensively. I think that's probably one of the more underrated things uh, about what they do. Um, I thought we made a lot of good reads. Um, and defensively, uh, you know, holding an explosive offensive team, you know, down under their their average. So I think we did what we needed to do to to, uh, to win the game. It's just a shame that it uh, it didn't turn out to be a W uh, for us. I'm, I'm still shocked. I uh, you know I thought uh, I thought we outplayed them in the fourth. And you know if you ran that last play with uh, Irving shooting that three and that missed rebound. I think nine out of ten times we come up with that rebound. It was just a crazy circumstance of colliding bodies and then (laughs) O'Neal, just the ball popping up and him being right there at the rim for a a putback. Uh, You know, it's just um, that one's tough. Um, I thought we had enough guys down there. I think uh, O had a really good block out on their best offensive rebound, rebounder with Claxton. Um, and uh, Kyle and and uh, Watanabe just like collided. I think Kyle ended up like taking out Tyler. Watanabe took out Kyle. Uh, Vic was down there somewhere, and then all of a sudden, uh, O'Neal ended up with the ball and nobody around. Uh, it, that, that's just a, a crazy circumstance, um, you know. And, and and I probably felt like everybody felt in the building when Kyrie raised, even in where he is at 30 feet. You just think like, oh, that it's probably going to end on that. So I think we we're all kind of shocked that he missed it, um, and uh, it's just a shame that uh, you know, with the, the efforts there, that uh, that the ball didn't uh, you know bounce in in our hands instead. Coach, how is is Tyler? Uh, we saw that injury. I don't in the know. Last moment. You know, that was a, the, 
I haven't even seen that replay. I, I, I was as, as surprised as anybody. You know, he was just kind of going, not even off of screen. I don't know what happened. He slipped on the floor. Uh, there wasn't any kind of screen over there. So if he says he's okay, but, I, you know, I, we won't know until uh, tomorrow. So even from the first few possessions, a lot of pressure from H on Durant. We saw doubles kind of spread throughout the night. Did you like yeah. the way you were able to make those two guys uncomfortable? For the most part, yeah, we really made Kyrie uncomfortable in the first half with 24, and just you know, I mean, he plays like, you know, he's having a cup of coffee out there. He's the, whatever the scheme is, he's seen it all. You can't rush him. You can't like speed him up. You can't. He has, you're not getting him sick at sea. Um, but I loved our activity, and I loved our awareness in a lot of situations. So we did a lot of the right things, and then it turned into an ISO, and then. He did what he does. I mean, he made probably at least six or seven just ridiculously tough shots against great defenders that you can't do it better than we did it. Um, and and he's one of the very few in this league that, that can shot create and make like, like he did tonight. Eric, halfway through the season, I know you maybe didn't want the record to be this, but with some of the things that are happening now, uh, it seems like you've got a rotation together, the activity, some of the combinations, the way yeah. Taylor and Vic are playing together. Do you feel comfortable going into the second half of the season with where your team is? Uh, yeah, I feel some something that 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 has been happening for the last three weeks uh, or so. Now we have to translate that into wins, uh, uh, you know, at some point. Um, but I I feel much better about our, our identity and how. We're playing um, with both units. We're getting a lot more consistent play. Um, and you can see that it's... Um, you can see that it's real. Um, and then, you know, the the resilience that we're building in a lot of these close games, tough games, um, you know, I think that right now it's starting to bring this group together. Um, you know, you can't put an analytic on it. It's just when I know when I walk in a locker room, how the locker room feels, and I'm st- I'm starting to feel it, uh, and that's something that we can definitely build on. And and look, we don't have to look any further than the team over there. You know, it was a six week stretch, seven week stretch, that they've really turned it on, and they went from seven and nine to all of a sudden being basically uh, a game away from you know being top of the conference so things can happen quickly in the, uh, in this conference because it is so competitive and everybody is bunched up you have to put together weeks of good basketball um, I think we're starting to, to do that uh, and then you know the next challenge will be uh, to do it consistently and and for it to translate into wins what was the thought process tonight of going going with Orlando as the backup big um for today's game. Yeah, and, and I thought he just gave us great minutes. You know, and even when, you know, we had to take Bam out in the fourth quarter, that that could have been an emotional downer, like a real buzzkill. Um, but, oh, it had been playing really well, and, and when I turned to him, everybody else was like, yeah, let's do this. Uh, you know, he's earned, earned the minutes, and I think the way he was really um, – sprinting to the rim on some of the pick and rolls uh, and and creating a little bit of confusion uh, really helped us generate some some clean looks uh, and his efforts uh, on the offensive glass uh, you know are really helpful he had some really good big plays in the fourth quarter um, basically everybody's on the table right now <laughs> like we we need contributions from everybody uh, anybody and it might differ from game to game. It made the most sense we felt tonight with Orlando. Uh, and we'll just see where it goes from here. Um, that's not an indictment on Dwayne at all, um, as it, particularly as he's starting to feel much better. Thanks, Coach. Okay, thank you.